hi, hi all viewers who uh, oversee data services. Um, I'm, I'm known as a uh, teacher Irene. I do teach English and I welcome you all to uh, this topic uh, here, the one we are going to have today. Uh, you are welcome and uh, hope you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, we are going to look at uh, conjunction. And conjunction means uh, joining words, the words which help us to join two or two two sentences together. And we are going to look at uh, a conjunction well. Well, a conjunction well, uh, we can use it at the beginning of the sentence and in the middle of a sentence. For example, uh, when you're at home there with other people, you may be not doing the same work at the, the same time. You may be doing different uh, work, but you, you, when you're doing it at the same time. For example, you'll be, uh, let take an example that maybe you'll be washing clothes and another person at home may be cooking the food. And uh, maybe someone else, maybe uh, someone else, maybe the little bros of yours will be uh, watching, uh, watching cartoons and for you will be revising the books. You may be, uh, let us take an example, uh, another thing maybe you'll be washing utensils and another person will be playing uh, football. So we use well to join those uh, sentences, to join the, uh, the two actions with taking place at the same time. Well helps us to join uh, the two sentences. Like for example, let us look at this example here. We are first of all going to uh, we are first of all going to, to look at the how we use well in the middle of a sentence. Okay. It's here. Let us write it right here. Examples. Number one, the girls. The girls were playing, were playing netball. The boys were playing football. to both okay now there are two actions happening and maybe to add on this uh when you are we are using well uh we, uh, we use simple uh, i mean past this importance and the press and past continuity tends to help us to ending the two sentences here we are seeing two things happening at the same time uh, we are seeing that girls are playing netball and at the same time boys are also playing football. So we are going to uh, to join these two sentences using it. Well, let us join it and you see. Uh, the girls were playing the girls were playing football and the boys are also, uh, I mean girls were playing netball and the boys are also playing uh, football. So we are going to use well uh, to join these two things to show that all the two things, all the two uh, actions uh, happened at the same time. Okay, yeah, now let us join. The girls were playing netball, netball, well, well, 
da boys we playing well the boys were playing for two ball okay now this uh this sentence shows us that all the two actions were play i mean took place at the same time but there are two different actions taking place at the same time like the way we see what we, we have seen here playing football and playing netball so uh well we use well like that in the middle of a sentence okay let us look at another example here uh, our second example Neri is Neri arrived. Neri arrived. It was it was raining. Aha, uh -huh, this is our second uh, example here. Neri arrived. It was raining. Uh, we are seeing here there are two actions taking place: arriving and the raining. So we are going to uh, we are going to use well in the middle, and we see how our sentence will be. We are seeing here uh, that there are two actions happening at the same time. So let us use well, and we see how it is, uh, how it will be. It, it will be nearly arrived while well it was it was raining so here this sentence shows that uh, uh shows us two actions taking place at the same time arriving and the raining Nary arrived well it was raining then you end with the, a full stop and when you're beginning a sentence hello don't forget uh, to begin with the capital letter okay that's all about uh, uh, let us look at uh, how can we use uh, how can you use well at the the beginning of a sentence because I told you that uh, we can use well uh, at the beginning of a sentence or in the middle of a sentence we are going to use this very uh, ex sentences but uh, when we are using well at the beginning of a sentence okay yeah let us see that nearly arrived it was raining so we have finished using well in the middle of a sentence what about when i want uh when i'm questioned uh when i'm required to begin with it well how can i do you do like this you say well well it was well it was raining well it was raining comma Neri arrived. And another thing, when you're uh, when you're using well at the beginning of a sentence, don't uh, don't forget what, uh, don't forget the comma a uh, comma here. After the first action, you right, you put a uh, comma, then you go to uh, another action. Okay. Yeah. What about we have this one here? What about when I want to uh, to start at uh, well at the beginning of a sentence? The girls were playing football. I mean netball. The boys were playing football. Ah, uh, they are telling you to rewrite that the sentence uh, beginning well. How can you say? This is number one. How can you say the girl, whale? You can say whale. 
the girls well the girls well the girls were playing well the girls were playing playing football playing foot I mean netball well the girls were playing netball comma the boys the boys the boys were playing the boys were playing football okay well the girls were playing netball comma the boys were playing football this uh this sentence shows us that there they were two actions taking place at the same time that's how we can use well and at the beginning of a sentence and well in the middle of a sentence okay mm. that's what i that's how we use what that's how we use our uh, we write sentences using e well in the middle and well at the beginning of a sentence okay let us look at another the, the another example then we see we ended here on the third, the third example now we are on the third example they are they are they are telling us to relate a sentence using way the join a uh, join a uh, put his John put his books in the bag in the bag when he was coming out of the going not coming out going out going out of the class uh, we are seeing that john put his books in the bag he was going out of the class we are seeing two things happening at the same time putting his book putting his books in in his bag and what and going moving out of the class the lessons were done so he wanted maybe to go home so what he did he put his books and he moved out of the class those are two actions happening at the same time so uh what we are going to use well in the middle and well in the at the beginning of a sentence okay let us see how we can join these two sentences okay we can say john put easy put his books in the bag while he while well he was going out of the class you end with the full stop that's how we can use well uh, in the uh, uh, in the middle of a sentence how about when they are requiring uh, when they are telling us to uh, to join the two sentences using uh, uh, i mean uh, beginning with the way how can we do okay we say whale 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 john while he was 
well john was well john was moving uh going out going out of, of the class of the class don't forget a comma comma then you go to another action he put his books in the bag okay while john was going out of the class comma he put his books in the bag yeah we are seeing two actions happening at the same time putting the books in the bag and moving out of the class okay that's how we do uh, that's how we we use well at the beginning of our sentence then i uh, need the uh, need us to to uh, i i need i'll need us to uh, to examine ourselves if we have understood i'll need us to examine our selves what you will do for me is here you examine you see your mark and you examine yourself i have a uh, trials here you try for me uh, in the table here i have a table here I have my table here. I have three columns. I have three col columns. I have three col columns here. Okay. They are here. The columns are here. The first column. What you are going to do for me is to rewrite these sentences. Or you make, make, make five sentences. We're going to make ten sentences here. I mean five sentences, okay? We have these columns here. Told you we are having three columns. The first column we we have Harriet. We have Harriet. A red. Read her story book. Okay. And in the same column, we are having this word, the conduct, the conductor, the conductor gave us, gave us uh, our tickets, our tickets. Then we have visitors. Vistas select in the bus, in the, in the bus. Then we still have a uh, we sang songs. Then in the second column, we are having well. Then lastly, we have it was it was it was we have it was it was raining it was rainy it was raining raining. We have my Bible, 
my baby uh, we have the bus the bus was he moving uh, we have she was travel traveling she was travel traveling she was traveling and uh, we have he was he we have he was he reading so what you're going to do is to uh to make uh to make five what eh? to make five sentences out of this eh? table here you, you like for example i can say harriet read her story book well it was raining that is my five that is what uh, the first sentence i've made out of the table here the conductor gave us our tickets where the bus was moving okay uh we are we are seeing two uh this table contains two actions happening at the same time the first column i uh, it has its actions the conductor gave us our tickets uh the the shoe the conductor gave us our tickets well the bus was moving the vista slept in the bus well the bus was moving those are two actions happening at the same time i can say we sang songs well it was raining okay that's how we use what a uh, well and the a uh, well in the middle of a sentence and well at the beginning of a, a sentence you will try out this and you see if you uh got anything about what a uh, well uh using a uh, well uh, at the beginning of the sentence that's all about well the middle and well at the beginning of a sentence okay yeah i'll say that that is the end of our uh lesson god bless you i wish you the best